Okay, so here's the mini, and I've got some clothing in it, and just some bras, some underwear, and some socks. And then I covered them with water. Um, I did not bother using the the water inlet hose because it was com basically completely useless. Um, so now I'm going to put uh, some woolite in there. They're very clear about not putting too much, so I'm going to put some woolite in there and then we're going to turn it on and see how it does. I put it on to wash for five minutes since it's just mostly delicates. It's not as loud as I was expecting, which is nice. And it's still going, and I mean, not a lot of vibration considering, like, how much it's moving what's in there. Um, I'm actually kind of impressed. One um, caveat thing you have to be aware of is this draining hose here. Um, you basically hook it up up here, and if you don't, all the water will run out. And that's one reason why this max line is very important because if you fill it above that, the water will come out the drain. So anyway, it's going strong. I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so now we're gonna do the rinse. And in order to do the rinse, um, you have to drain the unit which is quite simple. You just unhook this and put it in the sink. Oh wow, the water coming out is kind of dirty. I have a very slow drain so it's gross. But that's what the water looks like coming out. Okay, so they want you to take the clothes out and wring them out. So I did that, and I'm noticing that there is a little bit of dirt on the white um, rotator. So I'm just going to wipe that off with a towel. So now I've put the clothes back in, and I counted. I have four pairs of socks, three bras, and four pairs of underwear. So that's I think that's a pretty good size. You know, maybe twice a week you could do that, no problem. Okay, so I put clean water in on top of the clothes, and now I'm going to set the rinse, and basically it's the same time, use the same timing as the, ti the wash timer, um, and they say, they recommend five minutes, so that's what I'm going to do. And the thing is, the minute you turn that, it automatically starts working, so don't be surprised by that. But see, it starts working already. And there's five. Okay, so I've taken the spinner basket, which they refer to as the dehydration basket, and I've put the little safety lid inside, and now we're going to use the dry cycle, or the dehydration cycle, as they say. So we're going to close the cover and put it to spin, and... Choose the spin time accordingly. So, I guess we're gonna. Holy Moses! All right, now she's dancing. I'm a little concerned she's gonna fall off the counter. I thought I'd put everything in there pretty evenly. So this would be. Um... I might have to re redistribute that, but this might be a good argument for putting this thing on the floor instead of on top of a counter. And as it's spinning, it is draining. So clearly it is working to get the water up of the clothes. Okay, so I 
let it run down the three minutes and water was still coming out so I set it for another three and the second three it's not moving at all so I think that the clothing inside just needed to settle properly okay so I split the spin cycle up into two loads I had all the socks and the underwear in one along with one bra and then two bras in this one um, probably should have split it up into three I think but the first load came out pretty good. The stuff on the very bottom was still a little bit wetter than the stuff up top, but um, I line dry that stuff, which is why I bought this for the stuff that I line dry so I don't have to carry wet stuff back from the laundromat. And um, I don't really feel like they'll be dripping on the floor, um, so that was awesome. But that probably also has to do with the material. Um, and now with the bras in here, you can see that the, the water's coming out and draining, so that's cool. Anyway, so I think this thing's a keeper. Um, hopefully it won't break with the two bras in. It's not, um, it's not creeping along, so that's good. I can leave this unattended and, um, oops, I look terrible. Um, so anyway, that's it little mini and it is the mini the cost way mini there's not really a model number on it so anyway that's it I hope this review was helpful